Hi, this is Matt Marchant. We're going to go through some basic breathing assessments that you can do on your own. Uh, the first one, once you know what we're testing, it's a little easier to kind of manipulate what we're doing. But anyways, uh, the first one is a breath count. You're just taking 60 seconds and you're seeing how many times you breathe within that 60 seconds. So really try to just breathe uh, normal or natural for you. Uh, if you modify it too much, you're not going to get a clear indication of how many breaths that you would typically take in any given 60 second period. So, um, once you measure your breath count, uh, here's the measurement. Between 6 and 10 is ideal. That's what you really want. Um, 10 to 12 would be average. Uh, 12 to 15 would be poor. And uh, anything over 15 um, could be dangerous. Uh, you could be, have some acute or chronic hyperventilation if you're getting a, a more than 15 breaths per minute. Next one, uh, we're going to check uh, basic nostril function. You're going to block off one nostril, mouth closed, breathing from your belly only. Do that, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, just to kind of get a feel for it, then switch. And this one, what we're looking for is we're seeing if uh, is there a big discrepancy between the nostrils? Is one like this and the other one? We're looking for symmetry with the nostrils, very important. Also, too, when you're doing this assessment, uh, you can do this assessment with uh, yourself in the mirror. You're making sure that your nose is straight. Uh, you could have some sort of thing going on with the nose that a specialist might need to look at if you're unable to breathe in from one nostril, if you have any kind of bend or twist to the nose, there could be some structural issues to your nose. And so when you're doing these, these breathings, or these, uh, these breathing techniques, these strategies, um, you're going to be breathing predominantly from one nostril. And as we've talked about, one nostril relates to one side of the brain, the other nostril to the other side of the brain. So it's important that you have equal opportunity to breathe through both sides of your nostril, and we're just doing a quick nostril check. So next one, we're going to test breathing in. You're seeing how many seconds you can breathe in. Uh, it would be great if you could get between four and six. The closer to six, even better. Um, but you're timing that. And then you're seeing how long you can breathe out. Now, typically, you're going to be able to breathe out easier than breathing in. But we're looking for, again, some closeness of symmetry. Um, it's a little harder to be symmetrical with this one, although you want to. We, again, we tend to breathe out a lot easier than we breathe in, but you're looking for about six seconds of exhalation. Again, if you can get to six and six, that's great, but even if you're at three and three, you're a bit more symmetrical. See what I'm saying? So anyways, breathing in, four to six, breathing out, six. Next, we're doing uh, holding your breath. Now, we're not seeing how long you can hold your breath. You're not trying to break the world record in this. Mouth closed, pinch the nose. And you're just holding that. If you can get to 45, you pass. If you cannot, um, well, it's not a fail, but um, you might have some chronic hyperventilation. And it just gives you an indication of how important these breathing exercises might be for you if you cannot hold your breath for up to 45 seconds. Again, the holding your breath is not seeing how long you can go. That's not relevant to what we're doing. 45 seconds is the cutoff. And uh, the last one, you're just assess how to assess your own breathing, is the collarbone or what's called the scalene test. So if you can see, collarbone's right in here, scalene's right in here. All I'm doing is I'm putting hand on the collarbone. I can feel kind of the, the muscle here of the neck. And as I breathe, I'm just feeling. If I feel this, a lot of chest movement. Well, I'm using a lot of neck, okay? Also, too, I'm just touching these muscles to see if these muscles right up in here, if they get tight, as I breathe in. So just a quick check. So uh, those are some breathing assessments that you can do. You can always pull those out, just kind of see where you're at uh, with your breathing.